Hello everyone, I hope you've had a wonderful start to 2015. I can't believe the month of January has just flown by, but I was lucky enough to be able to visit my dream city, Tokyo, which was an incredible experience. It was even more beautiful and more phenomenal than I could ever have imagined. And I even got to go back to Singapore. I changed my hair color again. And to celebrate my new hair color, I wore vampy lips to match. And I absolutely love the new Tom Ford minis. So if you haven't seen my post on the lips and boys on the blog definitely go check that out I have 10 colors total but today I'm only going to share three of them with you three of which I am wearing on my lips so first I layered on just a hint of Alistair which is number 10 and although this isn't a color that I would gravitate towards I think it's a really really fun shade and it doesn't look quite as cool on the lips as it does in the bullet but I think it's a really really great base shade if you want to add any extra dimension to darker lip colors like red or purple and on top of that I layered Xavier this is a really fun color and I highly recommend this one it's actually sold out in the lips and boy size but this is a repromote of a permanent color called violet fatal and then on top of Xavier I layered a little bit of Stavros and this is a really interesting color because it's a silver metallic if you're a little bit more adventurous you absolutely need these two so obviously this is quite a departure from my usual usual look which is more subdued more natural but I do think that it's a really fun way to switch things up and this year one of my makeup resolutions is to show you guys a lot more versatile looks I'm quite capable of it so I feel like I should but I did order another neutral so this is the 11th lips and boys to join my collection and I actually plan to use this in a tutorial in February a Valentine's Day look just because it is that golden goddess feel and it's a warm sandy beige with gold shimmer so I'm really excited to share this one with you because I think this is the perfect color for most complexions and again this is William in case I did not mention that <laughs> and now since we've discussed my hair as well as my unusual lip color let's move on to some skincare I received a lot of questions regarding my in-flight and travel skincare essentials. So actually in Japan, I discovered the SK2 Facial Treatment Repair C. One of my blogger friends who has ultra sensitive skin had recommended this to me and I really never thought much of this, but it is a fabulous serum. So if you travel, if you have normal combination oily dry skin, you must try this product because it just makes your skin look plumped, even toned, hydrated, and completely flake free. So this is a must have in my serum arsenal now. And when I travel, I actually in flight, I prefer to use the SK2 facial treatment mask. This is just the standard moisturizing mask. It's super duper hydrating and there actually is quite a bit of the mask fluid in here. So I just pull the mask out, I save the fluid and once the mask sets after about 15 minutes, I take it off, squeeze out the excess fluid and apply it to my face like a moisturizer. And then I seal it all in with a hydrating facial mist as well as more moisturizer. And then I go to sleep. So one of the girls in Singapore at my SK2 workshop asked me if I recommended sleeping in the mask. And I don't recommend sleeping in the mask unless you're really, really tired. I think that it's best to, again, use the steps that I just mentioned. I just find that when you use the mask and layer on skincare afterward, it just really boosts and enhances the effect of the mask. As much as I love the SK2 Brightening Derm mask as well as my Holasu masks, I do think that in flight, the facial treatment mask is the very best. And now for a mask that I had been dying to try because this is an Asia exclusive. I really like the Clear's Clearly Corrective Serum. It's the one in the clear bottle and it's for whitening and brightening. But in Asia, you can find this Clearly Corrective White Hydrating and Clarifying Treatment Mask. And these are phenomenal. Turns out Nordstrom has an exclusive on these and they're available for a limited time on Nordstrom's website. So I highly recommend these. These are a very, very good alternative, affordable, alternative to my favorite SK2 and Holbasu masks. Plus they only come with I think six so it's less of a full term commitment as opposed to buying a pack of 10. And these were developed on sensitive Asian skin so I did not see any irritation whatsoever. In fact after 15 minutes when I removed the mask I gasped because I was so shocked at the results. It really did make my skin look brighter. I also love the peony smell. It's floral but not overwhelming. These Kiehl's masks are as good as it gets for the price. They're not as hydrating as SK2's and is not as comforting as 
has hula hoops. It doesn't reduce inflammation by any means, but in terms of the brightening effect, this stuff is pretty amazing. Okay, so now for my last skincare item, which is the Kogendo. So now that I went to Tokyo, I went to Japan and discovered how Kogendo was pronounced. And for some reason, the beauty blogger community told me it was pronounced Kopgeto. But I received confirmation in Tokyo that it is Kogendo. So I absolutely love their skincare and their makeup. As many of you know, I love their triple lighting powder foundation as well as their moisture foundation. But in Japan, I fell in love with the Oriental Plants Lotion 1. And this is a super light hydrating toner, but if you have acne, if you have redness, you absolutely need this toner. And even though I was running around Tokyo trying to get things done, I still managed to visit the beautiful Kogendo Spa and I actually got a facial which was awesome because I learned so many new things about my skin. So my esthetician taught me how to use the organic cotton pads from Kogendo with the amazing Oriental Plants Lotion 1 toner. Ever since I started integrating this step into my morning skin, skincare routine. I have seen a huge difference in the clarity of my complexion, so I can't wait to show you what I apply and how I apply this DIY mask in the mornings in my morning skincare routine video, which will be coming very soon, probably within the next four weeks or so. And now for one of my holy grail discoveries in January, Shiomura Art of Hair released their brand new sulfate-free color shampoo. This is the Color Luster line, and this is for color-treated hair. I'm absolutely floored Lord by how much I love this and it smells of rose musk. It's soothing, relaxing, and it's just invigorating in the mornings. This lathers really well. It's super creamy, luxurious, but it washes my hair. So I can't stand oily roots and this shampoo is so holy grail that I've already ordered another one even though I'm not even halfway through this. And now for the second color luster product, this is the Brilliant Glaze Thermo Milk. This is a lightweight leave-in milk and yes, it does help with blow drying so you have to protect your hair before you blow dry or heat style of course like curling your hair and this is perfect because it's lightweight it hydrates the ends but it doesn't weigh them down so I highly recommend this again it smells lovely and I love it so much I actually love it more than the conditioner and the hair mask in this range speaking of hair curling here is my t3 body waver I absolutely love this curling iron and sometimes I'll use my hot tools just because it sits out on my counter but I love Love, love, love this oversized jumbo 1.75 inch barrel and it gives me really really soft loose curls it gives my hair volume but I don't actually have to curl my hair so it just looks sexy and sophisticated I can create all sorts of curls with this plus I love the all-white body I know it's kind of funny since I do have colored hair that transfers but I still have managed to keep this really white so I love it I think it's a great shape and I do think it has a really interesting design. It's unlike any other curling iron I've ever owned, so now I'm a T3 convert as well, and I'm definitely going to look into their hair dryers, so if you have any recommendations, definitely let me know, but I'm so thankful to my hairstylist, Guy Tang, for introducing me to this. If it wasn't for Guy using this on my hair every time he sees me, I definitely wouldn't have tried it just walking by it at the store in Sephora, so I'm really glad I tried this, and I highly recommend it if you have finer hair like I do. And now for my favorite two, fragrances of the month of January. So on my Asia trip, I took along with me my Maison Martin Margiela Replica Tea Escape fragrance. I absolutely love this even though it is probably the least travel friendly perfume on the market. Since it doesn't have a cap of some kind, I did have to wrap it in a towel. But other than the packaging issue, I am so head over heels for this fragrance. It's unique, it's special, and it does remind me a little bit of Tokyo with the popped rice element. It's just super different and I just think it's really memorable but light and refreshing and soothing. So I highly recommend you give this a shot. It is a bar exclusive but I highly highly recommend you go out of your way to sniff this and here we have D&G's Limperatrice so this is a really really gorgeous feminine floral fragrance it's sweet you can smell the strawberry and the kiwi and most of the time those fruity notes they tend to disappear on my skin because it's so dry but somehow those top notes and those mid notes actually survive on my skin and
and it dries down so softly, not too powdery, which is a common problem with fragrances on my skin. So I do highly, highly, highly recommend this. It's a lot more affordable than the Maison Martin as well. And unfortunately, number three is apparently going to be discontinued. So I highly recommend you pick it up from Sephora or Nordstrom now. And it is quite a generous amount, so it will last you a long time. But I just think it's a super easy spring and summer fragrance. That's a wrap for January 2015, but I have even more exciting things to share with you in February. Don't forget to swing by the blog thereviewer.com in the next couple weeks because I will be sharing my Lottery 3 Suku and Addiction makeup hauls, and I have some Haba skincare as well as some Japanese drugstore goodies. So I'll be sharing all that information on the blog. So just stay tuned and don't forget to check out my latest drugstore tutorial. I get a lot of requests for drugstore makeup, especially from my younger audience, those in their teenage years and in college. And I feel like a lot of these textures are comparable to high-end makeup. So definitely check out that video because it is inspired by my Tokyo trip. So thanks so much for watching as usual and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.